welcome back. In the previous part, there was a lot of nipples. Yeah. The damn chicken has one more cry left before it's officially over. Well, hurry it up. That's plenty of time for me to massacre this entire room. No! Wait, Metallia! I caught the winter chicken! As long as I keep a solid grip on it, it can't let out its cry. This party won't end yet! Oh, Visco. Well done. Well done. At first, I was very against Visco. But she's she's so into helping Metallia now that it's like, yes, Visco. Well done. <laughs> a job well done, Visco. Now we can take our time and have some more fun. We're all going to be killed, aren't we? It's... it's most likely going to happen, yeah. I said to wait, Metallia! Let me talk to their head witch! Oh, uh, but... no, 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 destruction, come on! Huh? You're gonna try to cut a deal with her or something? Head witch? Nazaria, was it? Please listen to my suggestion as a witness to this party. Before this party ends, I... I want you to acknowledge Metallia as an official ordained witch. What? You stupid mutt! Don't stick your neck out too far. I don't need these fools' approval. I was born a great witch. Yeah, but you still want it. Visco, Visco understands. Enough! I'm speaking with the head witch right now. As you can see, Metallia can be quite outrageous. But as a witch, she is more than qualified, is she not? Because her magic is so strong, can't you accept her as a true witch? Oh, and if possible, can you start inviting her to the annual Walpurgis parties? Yeah, I mean, it would help. I mean, maybe if you did that this time, you'd still have this tower, or, or whatever this place is, that doesn't exist anymore. How can you ask that? She made this much of a mess, and you expect us to let her participate? It was your fault. Y yeah well, Metellia definitely did some cruel stuff in the past. And will do cruel stuff in the future. But you all are just as guilty of being cruel to Metellia. So, on both sides, why don't we all just overlook what's happened up till now? Overlook it? Like hell I can forgive these pieces of trash for making a laughing stock out of me! So what? You'll kill them all? What'll that accomplish in the end? Will it really make you feel better? I really feel like she's gonna answer, Yeah, it will make me feel better. And then destroy them all. Whatever! I'll be so damn happy when they're dead. That's plenty for me. Oh, jeez. Keep your cool for just a little bit longer, okay? Please, Head Witch, give us your judgment before she starts acting violent again. Hurry! You can't end the party until the chicken cries a third time, right? Surely you aren't. Nazaria, you can't listen to them. I'm, I mean, it probably will end this destruction, so... Might be worth doing. Your suggestion has been heard. A vote will now be taken. Those who approve of ordaining Metallia as a true witch, tap your cane. Those opposed, raise your voice. Huh? Tap my cane? Uh... Tap. Tap? Disco looks around nervously before unsheathing her sword and tapping it on the ground. That was a tap sounding more like a stab. One approves. W we oppose, of course. You won't get off scot-free after doing this. One opposes. Current tally is one approval and one opposition. Y you What are you thinking? She, she likes the display of power. She thinks it's awesome, doesn't she? Well, she's kind of funny. There you go. <laughs> Lobby just wants the chance to fight Metallia later. Isn't that right? 
<laughs> you got it, Lord Bunnykins. You really understand me. What is the deal with this Lord Bunnykins? <laughs> you! I'll re-educate you later. I won't forget this. Two have approved. One has objected. We can count. Hey, wait! I... Damn it, Visco! The matter is resolved. Two have approved and one objects. Under the witches gathered here at Walpurgis, we now officially recognize Metallia as the Swamp Witch. I suppose congratulations are in order. Indeed. Malia? Was it the laugh? I mean, it clearly says chew down there, you knew laughed. What are you up to, blonde mouse? Act 2, Chapter 6 has ended. Hmm. Still got quite a while to go, haven't we? In 76 days. Um, yeah. There was a really loud noise from up on the second floor! I thought it was Mani coming through a window. I believe a parcel has arrived for Master Leah. Yes. Yes. That bird sent another letter? What is it this time? <laughs> it's here, it's here! The Witch Bulletin! The Witch Bulletin? Only witches can subscribe to that! Yes! The day has finally come for me to make my name resonate all across the world! But seriously, that freaking Visco I was going to suggest spreading my swamp around the world at that party. She intervened. I mean, we could still do that. And they didn't even consider me a witch before all that. What a worthless party. Now I'll need to use my own power to expand the swamp further and have my name recorded in history. Looks like she's having fun. The Witch Bulletin can only be given to officially recognized witches, so yes, she certainly is. She is probably enjoying the notion of finally being acknowledged by the other witches. That's so great, Master! I'm happy for you, too! I didn't even have time to focus on my reason for attending the party. That just shows you how much you consider Metallia a friend. Or an owner. The witch that cursed me. Was she really there? Wait, whatever happened to Moni? Good question. Master Moni left during the afternoon that day to go on an adventure. Yes. Right, so she's outside right now, listening. Leah is all better now, so I'm sure you'll be just dandy without me here. Ta-ta for nowsies! What? What did you just do? How did... What? Those were her parting words. Y yeah She's a real free spirit, huh? So's Arlecchino from the sounds of it. A self-proclaimed world traveler, indeed. Gee. She could have stayed a little longer. Indeed. Hmm? Hmm? Uh -huh. but, but what's this horrid smell coming from outside? That would be the swamp. A visitor? This is rare. Yikes! It's a gigantic bug! The this smell is so overwhelming! Uh, I can't... Get some nose plugs or something. Whoa, Visco! Come on, hang in there! Dead. The nose of a dog. Such a strong sense of smell is a liability when one cannot handle such stimulation. Arlecchino! This isn't the time to calmly explain her current situation! Is this the Swamp Witch's house? Uh, hmm. I, I want to say she's cute, but also ugly at the same time. It's like, 
can you be that? Like cute and ugly? It's like, ugh, it's a hideous bug thing, but it's such a cute face. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, it stood up! Yes, this is the witch's residence. Oh, Kalu Kale! Still, this is not quite what I imagined. Kalu Kale? Where is the swamp witch? I must beg her for assistance. Shocking. A request for Master Leah? Just a moment and I shall fetch her. I heard that someone has a request. Huh? The hell's this thing? It's a giant furry dongo. Furry what? This is the visitor asking for you, Master Leah. Natalia. Indeed. From the looks of it, this seems to be the famous Princess Buridongo, known well around these parts. <laughs> A princess, huh? You'll make me blush. Yes, yes, won't we just? I think we all recognize the voice, though. It's, it's quite different to our other voices that we've heard in this, but it's still the same one. A Buridongo? I've never seen one before. And by same one, I meant actress, not voice, obviously. You know what I mean. She can stand up and speak. So is she a bug, or is she some type of fairy, or... Something else. <laughs> a furry dongo, a fairy? No! Please don't compare me to those icky fairies! How wooed! How very wooed. Whoa! Does that mean furry dongos are higher on the food chain than fairies or something? Generally speaking, no. But this one has a lot of pride. Pride in being a buried dongo. Yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Enough. Let's hear the details of this request. I... I want to support the prince. Oh. What prince? What? Huh? Support the prince? You know what you're saying? Yes, I know. I just like the prince so much. Are you in love? Like him? Like you like like the prince? Is that what you mean? Ah, yes. Currently, Amataya Kingdom does not have any male heirs. Therefore, I do not believe she refers to a real prince. Then what? Ugh, I get it. You want to support your prince. Then go burrow into the ground and never come back up. That's the best support you can give. Huh? But then I'll never be able to meet my lovely prince. What? Like, this game just gets weird. It, it really does. It's like, what is this about a prince? What is going on now? What now? Exactly. Forget about the prince. Bam! Case closed. How is this case closed? I must support him somehow! Like I said, it's useless. If you understand, go home. Why is it useless? I don't understand at all. You really have no idea what you are, do you? It's a waste of time talking to you. Go home and nestle into your trash pile like a good furry dongo. I... I won't forgive you for making fun of us furry dongos! Wood. Very wood. I won't ask you for anything. I was stupid to come here. Jeez. I can't waste my first favor on something idiotic like that. But, Master Leah, listen to this excerpt from the witch doctrine you so idolize. A true witch declines no favor. Declining is easy, whereas accepting is difficult. Yeah, I know. That's why I gave her my advice. It's, it's true, she did. I mean, it probably won't help, but she she did. Anything she tries will be useless. Useless, huh? I agree that a furry dongle falling in love with a prince is weird, but... Maybe if she goes about it the right way, there could be something even she could do. Huh? Uh, um, I mean... You don't get it either. Alright, tell you what. Lucini, 
Hundred Knight. Go and find that dumb burry dongo. Are we are we gonna cook it? Like what are we doing? What? If a way exists for her to support a prince besides burrowing into the dirt, fine. I'll grant one wish. Really? Any kind of wish she wants? Yeah. Assuming you find a way she can support him the way she is. Okay, I'll go find the Burry Dongo Princess. And if you find any damn pillars, make sure you bloom them, Hundred Knight. No, no need to yell, I'm right next to you. What did you say? What am I meant to do? Act 3, Chapter 7. The Witch and the Bug Princess. Act 3? Cool. Instantly want to get the shiny. Definitely want to get the shiny. Right, so where are we going? That's the question. Oh, just remembered where we can go, actually. There was a scene, because obviously with the leveling up, etc. I have obviously gone off to the um, Tower of Illusion once again. There's a scene on the 35th floor this time, rather than the 40th floor. It's like, I was going to get us to floor 40 ready for the boss, etc. But it was like, oh, hold on a minute. There's actually a scene here that there's more going on here this time. Because we're chasing after Teresa in the tower, aren't we? So let's go have a look inside. Hello, doodle, doodle. Just wish it, wish it was more snappy in, in getting there. That's the thing. So as you can see, we're on floor 34. So I've got to do floor, floor, got to do floor, got to do floor, 34, in order to get to 35. I mean, I can do four as like floor. Don't know how to do five as anything. Special. Five? 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 No, I don't know. I don't know. Right, what Bye. map layout we got? Oh, oh no. damn you! Stupid caterpillar. Let's change over to... Oh, there's another stupid caterpillar! Yeah. Just come from nowhere. Bye. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. die. Bye. Everything's very yeah. easy yeah. in here, by the way. Yeah. Like, stupidly easy. Yeah. It is just... I can just one-hit them with yeah. my... Any weapon! Actually, yeah. thinking about it. Any weapon. This caterpillar's, I'm telling you, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're a pain. They're, they are a pain. Play. What was that noise just then? Yeah. Yeah. There was definitely a weird noise, like... Yeah. Yeah. I've also messed around with my karma yeah. levels, so yeah. Yeah. all the enemies will yeah. now attack yeah. me again, and the, um... Like, MP... Yeah. Go away, you stupid caterpillar! Yeah. 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 There's some sand or something there, isn't it? For yellow ones? Yeah, shining sand. Yeah. Uh, I pressed X to dodge that, and it didn't work how I wanted, obviously. Yeah. Right, we haven't got the stairs beneath us. I can't remember what I was going to say now. I was, I was mid-sentence, and then I got interrupted by a caterpillar, and then a, um, harpy. I wanted to say a hydra, then. It's like, it's not a hydra. It's only got one head. It's a caterpillar again. Oh, this time it doesn't roll at me. I was ready for it to roll at me. And it doesn't. Very typical, isn't it? Very typical. Oh, then we're done. Right, floor of 35. Got, got one anima out of that. It's better than nothing, isn't it? I suppose it's better than nothings. I do love that one. Where it's like, it's got the books on its head and it's like, Oh no, it dropped all the books. Oh, poor whatever it's called. Jeremy. That's the name of the thing. Jeremy. Only that one, though. Huff. Huff. It's tough fighting these monsters in here with only my sword. Nice. You are surprisingly weak. A bit harsh. I, I know that I'm weak. Was that witch anywhere near... Where Hundred Knight came from? Um, no. No, it wasn't. Meow. Meow. Let's see. I don't know why that witch is so attached to that pendant. Is it something important? Let's see. It's no use asking. Anyway, let's investigate a little more. Is that going to be the scene? There we go. That must be it. 
Yes, let's follow. Which one of those is the real one? Uh, let's just split up. Very well. Oh, so it is just the same again. Try and avoid this guy where he comes at me, but I want the red sand before I leave. Because the sand is good for doing the alchemies. I don't think I've actually shown the alchemies in the videos, have I? So I might do that now, actually. Dang, I'm having you. That, that's revenge for what your friends did to me that one time, and you. Yeah. I, I, what was that? Look at that noise again. Maybe it was that spawning. Oh, there's definitely a noise, wasn't there? There's definitely like a chung. I don't know. But anyway, let's get out of here. Return to base. And I'll show you the alchemy. Oh, there goes our 66666. Yeah, shining sand. Critical rate increased by 3%, and red sand attack increased by 4. That's quite nice, actually. Just whether or not we can actually use it, I don't know. It depends if I've got enough weapons. I may have sold them. I don't know. Because I need a weapon to fuse, basically, with another weapon. Alright, so the alchemy one is this one, if I'm correct? Wow. Well. Alright, so upgrade. Alright, so we want to upgrade a sword, really. Probably my best sword. We'll go with the Coma Soul Shard Sword number 9. There. And we'll sacrifice. That's one. Let's get rid of the poison moth staff. It's a two. That'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. Right, catalyst. Here we go. So I want to increase our attack by four for that weapon. So that's very nice. Lovely, lovely. So you can see we've increased the attack by 21. Simple, really. Simple. So let's do that again if I can with the other one. It's a bit of a waste. I mean, we've got to use one of these, but... Ah, well. But I want the critical rate 3% increase. So it's like, very nice on that. Very nice on that. That is my main attack weapon out of all three sets. So, be nice to have it. Be nice to have it. There we go. We got plus one. Yay. But we did have somewhere. I assume it's somewhere it says the plus 3% attack. I don't know. I don't know. It may just be the plus 1 for all I know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. So, void. Let's see about going to the world map. We'll probably get an event as we're going to the world map, though. And if we do, we'll end the part after that event. Oh, no. What we should check is the hut. Yes, I forgot about the hut. There's usually scenes in there when we go into a new chapter or some sort of thing like that. Na, 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 na. So they're usually just reminders, aren't they? What? As to what to do. Sort of like a, if you forget what to do, just go in there. I, I want these fool's rocks. If you're wondering. Oh, it's just a nameless pumpkin. Rubbish. One day I'll, I'll attack this hut, though. One day. There we go. We've got an event in the living room. Maybe. You know how it is. Sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes. Da da. What? Did you find a way for her to support the prince beyond burying herself in her trash heap? I doubt you ever will. Such a solution is ideal for a damn dingo dango wantsy wotsy thingy. Sorry, but isn't that a bit harsh, Metalia? Hmm. You passed out from one whiff and I even saw what she looked like. It gives you the right to chastise me. Sh sh shut up. I couldn't help it. I guess. What with that dog snout of yours? Compared to a human sense of smell, you... Uh, uh, enough. Everything's getting dark again. <laughs> More importantly, 100 night. Helping my apprentice is fine, but don't forget your primary duty. What, what was my primary duty? Who knows? Right, I'm assuming there is no other event there. Alright, so let's go have a look. See if there's an event. There we go. Oh, 100 Knight! Hello! I found where the Burry Dongle Princess lives. She lives off Crimson Road in a trash pile in Chinque Forest. Ch Chinque? Uh... Yes? I doubt that any prince would ever marry a Burry Dongle, but still. Well, maybe what we need to do is change her into a human. 
or something like that. I don't think it's useless when she has her hopes up so high. I know what my master said, but... All right, Hundred Knight, I'm going to go on ahead, so catch up with me once you're prepared. I suppose. La 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 la, right, see where it is. We'll arrive in the location, at least, before the next part. Oh, it's off, off to the side there? I mean, where, where was the connection from there? That's, that's the thing, it felt like there should be a connection from there. I don't know. But, yeah, ch ching, ching, chinque road? I don't remember what he said. I want to say cinque. I don't know. I just like that. He's like, oh, he's, he's fine with the books. He recovered with the books. Oh, dear. He's gone. And he's regretting that. And then he fades out from, from existence. Like, he is needed no more. He just disappears from existence like he was never there to be replaced by a duplicate who has the exact same issue. And of course, he will fade out as well. Can't accomplish the task. You deserve no nothing better, really, than fading out. We got no scene? Oh. What if it, I would have expected to see at least. All right, we'll, we'll proceed onwards to the first one. All right, one of every enemy, at least. I don't know what they were. No idea, we're just destroying them. Ooh, there's a pillar nearby. Yeah, as you can tell, I, I have leveled up quite a bit, haven't I? Just the fact I... I'm annihilating things in basically one hit at the moment. Yeah. Oh, 100 night, this way. Looks like there's piles of poop. Reminds me of Jurassic Park. Oh, that explains it. There she is. But what's she doing in that giant mountain of trash? This is trash? She... She's eating it? Who's there? Is it my prince? She actually walks like that? Alright. Oh, the one's from the witch's house. Uh, what do you want now? My name's Lu Lucini. That's it. And this here's Hundred Knight. We're here to, um, t to brainstorm some way for you to give the prince your support. Really now? Y you'll take on my request? N no, not exactly, but... I give you my regards. I am called Mitten. And Mitten. And I really like the prince. <laughs> yeah, we know. How'd you meet this prince anyway? He arrived in a horse-driven dr horse carriage. It had to have been fate. Uh-huh. He could be an actual prince. Maybe a noble son? I mean, the story just doesn't add up. Even so, they're still a total, totally unsuitable match. I must hurry and support my prince. What should I do? Tell me, tell me. What should you do? You don't have any more information. Like, what the prince enjoys, or... Uh, I don't know anything complicated like that. God, you're eating trash again. Nom nom. It's tasty, you know. Can I try a mouthful? Uh, no. No, thank you. Size, if the prince sees you eating that stuff, he'll never like you. Oh dear, so if I eat, the prince won't like me? That's not what I meant. Uh, the wrong part is picking up and eating food. Especially trash. Oh, is that so? I need to show some self-restraint, nom nom. Oops, I just... I just need to find a way to stop myself from nom nom. Sorry, but I, I can't seem to stop myself from eating trash. This can only mean one thing. We need to train you. To train me? What are you gonna do to me? 
First, you need to learn how to stop involuntarily cramming trash in your mouth. Let's eat a proper meal. Leave that part to me. I'll stay by your side and help you fix that bad habit. But that won't be enough. 100 night. I have a task for you. Could you find me a profound seed? That'll keep her stomach prof profoundly full. So if we do that and fix her eating habits, she won't want trash. Please help, 100 night. Ah, uh, go on then. What? Magia. I'm begging you. I already agreed. I just said yes. Show my appreciation. I'll cook my speciality for you later. It's called the Profound Seed, but it's referring to a part of the Kanagiri's ear. If you search this area, you might find one, but it's a rare drop. I'll stay here and keep an eye on Mitten, so she doesn't pick anything up off the ground and eat it. Falling in love with her prince may be unsuitable, but if you don't give up, surely things, surely things, surely there's something we can do. After all, even I, even you? What? Even you what? I don't know. Right, so obviously we're going to end this part here, and in the next part we'll proceed onwards and try and find this seed or whatever that's part of an ear. Just another day in the Witch and the Hundred Night. So we'll see you then. Goodbye for now.